Good morning and welcome to day six of six Howard Mathematica. As you enter into this space, as I do every morning, I want to remind you to be who you are and as you are, you are enough. What you have to give and the questions you bring to the table are enough. Take care of your biological and technological needs as they come up. You should eat whenever you need to eat, on camera even, turn your camera off if needed, take care of yourself. Everyone is a student here no matter what your title. Set your personal intention for today. Start thinking about what your personal intention is for this entire institute if you haven't had time to do that yet. Is there something specific you want to learn, a skill you want to begin to master, or do you want to drink all of this in from the fire hose from which is delivered uh, and revisit again at the end of the institute? Uh, is it collaboration you want to work on on a project? Is it asking questions confidently? Is it practicing R? Set it your intention for today before someone sets it for you. It can change tomorrow. It can change midday. It's yours and yours alone. Run your own race. Choose your own adventure. That will be the theme of today. Choose your own adventure. And I'm going to drop something in the chat box for you. It is from um, my colleague, uh, Zawadi, uh, who graduated from the PhD program in sociology at Berkeley. She is now in faculty in the sociology department at um, University of uh, Albany in New York. Uh, so um, you're going to notice we have a few speakers who are from that region or work in that region today. Uh, you'll also uh, hear from uh, uh, Dr. Hanna de los Santos later today. She, uh, she went to RPI. Uh, which is also right there. So I'm going to drop something in chat box for you. It's called Sometimes You Know Best. Uh, it's about her academic journey and a lot of academic advice, how it focuses on one size fits all. And sometimes you have to figure out your own path. So that is our, uh, that's going to be our theme today. I'm also going to drop in the chat box our, um, uh, our, uh, our special question for the day. So today is what superpower would you want? Uh, you're also going to see that our rooms today for our special speed dating exercise, get excited and be afraid, be very afraid. It's a lot of moving fast and breaking things. It's a lot of fun. If you feel like you're like, what's going on? You're exactly where you need to be. Uh, so our rooms today are all black superheroes, black female superheroes, in fact. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, Ironheart's one of my favorites in there. Uh, no announcements today, just reminders uh, for folks that are taking the lead with questions with our different panels for Africa and African Descendants inaugural panel. That would be Gatumsa for video one, Renee for video two, Imani for video three, and Susanna, Rumesa, and Asha for video four. Uh, so uh, we also, I also want to remind folks for a bite-sized lunchtime talk with MITRE that Erica, Gatumsa, Amber, Nayanthara, and BJ are also taking the lead with questions there. It doesn't stop there, though. We've got three different speakers or sets of speakers today. So, um, so uh, at the end of the day, we'll have our first guest speaker, Karen Levy, uh, who's on faculty at Cornell. Uh, we'll be talking about surveillance of truckers. Uh, this is from her forthcoming book. Uh, and the leads for that conversation will be Daniel, Rebecca, Erica, and Andrea. I want to also remind folks that our guest speakers, and this is our first one tonight, will have office hours. So there'll be a few different 10-minute slots uh, where you can spend some time with them. Uh, if, sadly, no one signs up, then, ooh, we get to give them their time back. I've never had any of our speakers go, aw. So uh, if, you're, if you're exhausted, you know, you'll, you can get their email address, too, if you'd like each of our speakers and meet them at another time. But that is available. Right now, we have uh, Rebecca and Ramesa signed up um, for that. Uh, if, if we have low sign up, then we'll get to do one-on-one -on -one office hours. But otherwise, it's small groups. So you'll notice a little bit of a change in our schedule today. Uh, we, um, we have a, a, a talk this morning, um, a panel discussion on um, uh, challenges and opportunities with regards to the way data collection, data collection happens about uh, Black people around the world. So we have a star-studded panel, uh, and that has shifted um, uh, our, our uh, schedule for the week a little bit. And you'll notice we decided to keep that all week asking you to come in a half an hour early, uh, get you up a little brighter, a little early for uh, talks and things that some of our colleagues at Six Covenant in Nigeria, Six Jaius IPAC in South Africa, and, um, and West and Central Africa uh, in, in um, Cameroon will be joining us. So we're starting a little early to accommodate them. And um, we hope you enjoy uh, this special program uh, programming, which is crossing multiple sites today. Uh, and uh, will um, uh, and is a public event, and then we'll also have another site that crosses multiple sites tomorrow. is open to both events are open to anyone, so feel free to uh, to invite your friends, uh, and uh, we, we'd love to see them. Where I think will will be pretty groundbreaking discussion. Uh, so um, so our schedule changes up a little bit. All week we'll be meeting at 9:30 instead. 
Uh, and, um, and after that, uh, we'll head into preparation for our exercises for the day. I'll go over the schedule in a minute, but I just wanted to note why we're making that modification. Uh, it's so that we can accommodate folks at, at other sites and also giving you, give you the maximum amount of time to work on your, uh, your projects while also uh, still getting to take advantage of our incredible speakers. So um, uh, let's uh, do a quick keep start stop. I think everybody was uh, pretty worn out on Friday from, uh, from our activities and also all that dancing. Uh, so, um, so we're gonna take a look at keep start stop, um, a little terse, uh, but uh, that's okay. Sometimes it bees like that. And uh, we'll see uh, what folks have to say at the end of today. All right, so for our first slide, this is from day five for our keep. Discussions and Q&A, people love that. Glad, glad, glad. Um, we've uh, tried to be very thoughtful to make sure you get maximum time to talk with each other and also ask questions of all the different speakers and panelists that come in. All right, so let's move on to start. Start, I have nothing to add. Okay, deeply appreciate uh, that you took the time to put that on, the, on there. And, and if you have something you wanna start, let us know. Super open uh, to that, we wanna get better. All right, our stop. Everything is cool. Yes, everything is awesome, to quote uh, the Lego movie. Uh, everything is cool when you're part of a team. All right, let's uh, move on to our anything else. Think of a blended summer school format in the future. Cool. I don't know what that means. So somebody, please, if, uh, if you're the person that wrote this, DM me. Um, I'm all about uh, making modifications to make this better, more accessible, and uh, more exciting and fun for as many people as possible. So uh, I'd also encourage this person, I've said this to you all before, if you've got ideas on how we could do it better, maybe you should uh, come help us uh, to run this site next year, or maybe think about founding your own. Uh, there are organizers, uh, uh, black organizers across four sites at least this year. And I know we're going to put together a panel about our experiences, but I'm sure that, you know, any of the organizers at any of the sites would be happy uh, to talk to you about uh, what it takes to run a site. It's been incredible and a whole lot of fun. So looking ahead, uh, let's uh, review the schedule for today really quickly. Uh, I don't, uh, I don't want uh, to, uh, you all to miss out on the inspiration that is to come from Akira. So I'm just teeing that up right there. I don't know why I just swung like a baseball bat instead of like a golf club. Teeing that up, maybe it's T-ball. Uh, we're going to go over the schedule, uh, and then uh, she's going to send us into our day with some inspiration. So uh, you'll notice on the top of our schedule the addition of a mention of our Mathematica TAs being available via email or Zoom for consultation starting tomorrow. So there's a schedule you'll see starting tomorrow. You'll be able to get their email addresses, contact them. Please note, these are working data scientists. Uh, we call them TAs, but um, that, that, is, uh, that is an honorary uh, demotion uh, for all of them. They are working data scientists uh, and, and quite busy. So I would make sure you're in touch with them early uh, and, uh, and schedule things. Uh, you're welcome to bring them to this space um, so that you can meet with them here. Our platform will remain open. Um, we'll have fun named rooms every day. There'll be uh, you know, snacks in our virtual rooms. No, there won't. Uh, couches, come sit on the couch in the virtual rooms, but please feel free to use this space for those meetings. Set those meetings up or ask those questions via email. But if there's someone you particularly got along with, may want to reach out to them. You may want to reach out to everybody. Up to you. They're available. So um, we're doing our logistics right now, as I mentioned, a little bit earlier than yesterday. I know some of you dragged in a little bit uh, because you're like, I thought it was a 10. Why did she do this? Uh, so it's method, method behind my madness. So we're a little earlier this week, 9.30 to 10 logistics today. We'll head into our panel shortly. We'll switch over to WebEx. Please check the chat box. We gave you the link for you to register for the WebEx. Um, we're gonna want you to try and jump in there on the earlier side. That's why I'm, I'm speaking with, uh, with some haste. Uh, to make sure there aren't any issues. And I'm going to have to hop over there actually in a second and, and uh, get our speakers all set, review the run of show. Those of you um, who have uh, helped out with our lunchtime speakers and stuff are, are familiar with what happens there. So um, it's going to be an incredible panel. Please, uh, please come. It's made up of folks from three sites, uh, from, from uh, South Africa, uh, from uh, Nigeria, and also um, uh, some folks that, that we nominated from our site, uh, and, and also with organizational uh, support and investment from the Cameroon site, it's uh, pretty groundbreaking and amazing. So after that, you'll get a, a little break, uh, provided we don't run over on time, which I'm expecting we will. So, you know, if we do, we'll try and uh, pick up time later. Uh, after that, we'll do a quick logistics research, speed dating logistics. Same thing. If we happen to um, get turned around, um, I might switch the schedule around. So, so keep an eye on if that happens. I expect we will move that... Uh, the break in logistics to after our lunchtime talk, uh, just to, uh, uh, we have some flexibility today because it's a busier day. 
Uh, after that, we've got our uh, bite-sized lunchtime talk uh, with uh, uh, folks from MITRE. Uh, so it's uh, Dr. Hannah De Los Santos, and she also has a colleague from her uh, with her, a recent grad uh, from Harvard named, um, named Simon, who'll be joining us as well. Uh, his information is not on the website yet, but we're gonna get that up. So they're super excited to meet you, talk to you, hear all about your work. Got to tell you, Hannah is excuse me, Hannah is just incredible. So if you're um, if you've got uh, uh, space on your top ten list of like academic crushes, uh, put her on there. She is just she's incredible, super smart, uh, and just just wonderful person. Uh, then we've got a break after that. Provided again, we don't run a little bit late. If that's the case, we'll probably push. I'll probably invest some time in describing um, our exercise. Then then we'll jump into seven rounds of uh, uh, speed dating chaos. I'm looking forward to telling you about that. Then we'll have a break, then a family family free for all where you will work to get yourself as close to possible as deciding about your projects. Um, don't worry, you'll have time tomorrow uh, if needed to move around. Then we'll do a group debrief. Then we'll have our first guest speaker, Karen Levy, Robo Truckers, the double threat of AI for low wage work. Uh, and uh, and then we will call it a day. Uh, so I'm I'm excited uh, to get into it. So um, uh, I think Akira is about to join us. Uh, so let's do our inspiration and then get to it. Have a great day, everyone. Well, first let me ask you guys, how's the program been? You you finished week one. How's it been? I see some thumbs up. Yeah, excellent. Well, I hope. Um, you got a lot out of the first week. The first week is a lot of curriculum and a lot of material and content being thrown at you. Well, first, let me introduce myself. I don't think I did that. Um, so Akira Bell, I'm the Senior Vice President and the Chief Information Officer at Mathematica. Mathematica partnered with um, Howard in 2019 um, to, to bring this unique Six Institute to the Six uh, Network. Um, and we thought it was important to one, bring it to Howard and uh, have a bit of a, an HBCU slant, as well as an equity and anti-bias lens to it. Um, I, I am very happy to see so many people of color in this group. It's very important to me that as we think about um, all of these advanced methods that you're learning to apply to really important topics in social sciences, that we bring different experiences, different lived lives, different understanding of people, culture, social networks to, um, to the forefront of our thinking. And that as we apply more technology and digital methods, we are doing so with um, an eye on equity and an eye on fairness, and an eye on, on truth. Um, so it is our hope that um, through this program that you'll learn some new tools, but be able to amplify new voices, your own and others, the people and, and the networks and the resources and the communities that you're studying as a part of the course of your work, um, that you bring something back to those areas um, and bring something new and bring a new new method or a new methodology that you can think about differently. Um, our hope is also to change the community of social scientists who have these types of skill sets to bring new faces and new voices to that community. Um, I see lots of women in the group, which is also awesome. Uh, you know, when I was your age in school, there was just not a lot of people who looked like us around the room and that's men and women, but you know, I'm, I'm especially happy to see so many women in the group. Um, but I applaud you in coming and um, hope this is not the end of your journey in thinking about using these types of tools and, and computational methods in um, social science. I, you know, I, I, I'm a technologist, so I think about things the other way, um, but um, I almost think that even technologists could learn something from social scientists, not just um, social scientists learning more technology and digital methods. So maybe that's a different institute for next year, but um, I've, I've really enjoyed learning from all the social scientists that I've worked with. And I think this is a really important topic. Um, any questions? I, I know you guys have a really exciting uh, panel coming up and that's why I jumped on a few minutes early. I wanted to make sure that we, we close before then.
Any comments? How's things going besides the thumbs up? So this is Andrea. Can you share a little bit about your um, background? Uh, sure, I'd be happy to. So I am probably the least degreed person in this room. <laughs> Um, I have a bachelor's degree from Princeton University where the six programs started. I did not know Matt when I was a university student there. That was a long, long time ago. Um, but my background is in operations research, which um, is a lot of data science work. And um, I did a lot of work in the economics department. So I took about half of my classes from economics and half of my classes from the engineering school. And another 25% of my classes were from the comp computer sciences department. Um, and I also have um, a minor in African-American studies. Um, so hopefully that gives you at least my academic lens of why this program was important to bring to fruition because um, I love data, I love modeling, I love using computers to model um, problems and solutions and figure out how they can help us advance things, but with guardrails. <laughs> um, that's really important, you know, so we've seen um, AI and data science methods run amok and proliferate bad data. Um, or proliferate, you know, insights that weren't necessarily the right ones or create amplified bias. And that's not what we want. We want to figure out how to flip that upside down and use technology to amplify and create more velocity for equity um, instead of the opposite. So that's what I'm hoping that you guys are, are, are a huge part of in creating those methods for the future. Thank you very much for sharing. I've been in technology for, for most of my career. Any other questions? Can I ask a question? Sure. Yeah, I wonder uh, what, what exactly you do in the Mathematica and what is your career trajectory from the IT person to Mathematica? Um, so uh, my career tra trajectory into Mathematica? Mm -hmm. um, so sure, so what I do right now in Mathematica, well, I, let me tackle that my career trajectory in Mathematica. So coming out of school, I, I started out in consulting and management consulting and really just leveraging my kind of uh, computer science and mathematical modeling expertise to help with um, business problems. And that largely meant creating computer systems and app like software applications and things of that nature. I've done that for the majority of my career. Um, so in my, my role as a chief information officer here at Mathematica, my role is running the IT and technology functions that both support our client work. So it's the technology that supports our social scientists and our economists um, and our data scientists, as well as the technology that just runs the operations of the company, our financial systems, our HR systems, um, and, and so on and so forth. Um, but that's how I got here. But um, I was attracted to come to Mathematica out of the corporate world. The corporate world is where I came from. Um, because I, I was very much aligned with its mission of uh, creating better public well-being. Um, and I thought it was an opportunity to use my background instead of for helping corporations make lots and lots of money for a very small, small group of people, um, <laughs> was to use the same background um, to help in more impactful ways. Thank you. Any other questions? All right. Well, thank you guys for, for being here. Um, love to hear your feedback. I'll be seeing you, spending the day with you on Friday. I can't wait. That was my favorite part of the program last year was just hearing all the projects, proposals last year. Um, so I'm very much um, excited to hear from you again on Friday. 
Um, and I think I'll also be with you guys. I think it's Wednesday or Thursday where Mathematica will have kind of a career roundtable. You can ask lots of questions from others in our company about what they do. So please come with lots of questions. Um, we'll have uh, people from different backgrounds um, than mine in that session for you to talk to. Them. Thank you all for watching. For more information on six Howard Mathematica, visit our website, follow us on social media, and join our email list.